Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I'm back. Just to get this out of the way, I will be uploading videos every Sunday and Thursday, I believe. And I'm so excited to start making videos again, especially videos about books, because I love books so much. This past year was incredibly tough for me. Just to put things out there and to normalize things, um, I have anxiety and depression, so it made it incredibly difficult this freshman year for me. I found an amazing support system through those tough times. So if you ever have any questions about mental health, I mean, I will try to do my best to answer them. I only know my own experiences. I don't know technical things. I am feeling really good about going further because again, I now have my support systems, which I think is really the best thing to get when you have mental health issues. Okay, that was a tangent thing. So just yesterday I went to my absolute favorite bookstore called Tidal Wave and it's where they sell used library books. I got 14 books for $19. So I've already taken off the library bindings of these books but some things I just could not take off because either the covers were too delicate or the stickers just wouldn't budge. So the first book I have is What Light by Jay Asher who was the author of 13 Reasons Why. I have not read 13 Reasons Why. I watched the first season of the show. I had some personal issues with it but I wanted to try out this book because it is Christmas themed. And this book is about a girl who's from Oregon, travels to California with her parents because they're selling Christmas trees that they brought from their Christmas tree farm in Oregon. And they're in California. She meets a boy. It's a whole romantic thing. The next two books I have kind of go hand in hand. We have The Thief by Megan Whelan Turner, and then we have Thick as Thieves by Megan Whelan Turner. This is the first book in the series. That is the most recent book in the series. I don't actually know much about the series. It is a fantasy, I believe. It's about thieves and kingdoms. I'm sorry, guys. I really should do more research. This basically is just telling you how much I impulse buy books, especially when they're very cheap. So I'm really excited to dive into the series. Obviously I'm gonna have to get the other books in between these, but I just decided to pick these up. The next book I got is Lair of Thieves by Libba Bray. This is the second book in the Diviner series, and I have been wanting to reread this trilogy because she takes about three years or so to come out with each new book, and I got Before the Devil Breaks You, aha, uh -huh, very recently because it came out this year, and I wanted to reread it because I honestly didn't really remember. These two books, side note, this is a book lover's, I wouldn't say pet peeve, but definitely it can be annoying, is when you change the covers of a series so much. There is The Diviners, one cover. Here's Lair of Dreams, when they decide to change the cover, and then they change the cover again for the third book. So I have one book from each kind, which actually, though it's annoying, I kind of think is a little bit cool. I really love the series. It takes place in the 1920s. It's a fantasy. It's dark. There are murders. It's really cool. It's supernatural. Sorry. Supernatural probably, not fantasy. It's dark. It's really cool. 1920s, New York City. Do I need to say more? Then I got There's Someone in Your House by Stephanie Perkins, who actually is known to be a like contemporary author for Anna and the French Kiss in that whole series. I've never actually read that series, but this is her first thriller novel. I've heard some mixed things about this book. I've actually heard a lot of people say it's not the best, but I wanted to try it out myself. This follows a girl who's in a new town and all of a sudden there are a bunch of gruesome murders happening in her high school. And honestly, do you need more? Then I got A Face Like Glass by Frances Hardin. Okay, I'm honestly gonna just read the inside flap for you because it it sold me right away. In the underground city of Converna, the world's most skilled craftspeople toil in the darkness to create delicacies beyond compare. Wines that remove memories, cheeses that make you hallucinate, and perfumes that convince you to trust the wearer, even if he slits your throat. On the surface, the people of Converna seem ordinary, except for one thing. Their faces are as blank as untouched snow. Expressions must be learned, and only the famous face smiths can teach a person to express or fake joy, despair, or fear at a steep price. Into this dark and distressful world comes Never Fell, a girl with no memory of her past and a face so terrifying to those around her that she must wear a mask at all times. Never Fell's expressions are as varied and dynamic as those of the most skills, skilled face smiths 
except hers are entirely genuine and that makes her very dangerous indeed i mean that sold me hopefully it sells you i'm pretty excited about this it sounds really amazing so i might pick this up pretty soon the next book i have is a map for wrecked girls by the stickers covering her name jessica taylor this book follows two sisters who wash ashore on an island with a boy, of course, because there must be a romance. The sisters had been pretty close because the younger sister completely followed whatever her older sister said with no hesitation. But once the younger sister falls in love with the boy, the only boy on this island with them, she starts not really speaking with or trusting her older sister anymore. Next I have The Mothers by Britt Bennett, and this story takes place in Southern California. Uh, about this girl whose mother recently committed suicide and this is revolving all around black contemporary America and of course I like to diversify my reading so I really heard great things about this book and I really wanted to pick it up and actually this is the only regular fiction book that I picked up this time or no that's a lie oh I got another one but I am really excited about picking this up because again I heard such amazing things about this book and it seems kind of intense but also I can take intense books in the summer I will probably pick this up soon then I got once and for all by Sarah Dessen Sarah Dessen is known for doing a lot of teen romance novels. I've only read one of hers and it wasn't her most popular one and it wasn't my absolute favorite but this one seems a little bit more intriguing to me so I decided to pick it up. This follows a girl whose mother is in the wedding business which I've always found actually pretty fascinating to be honest oddly enough. There was a lot of buzz about this book this time last year so I really wanted to pick up this one and see if I like this Sarah Dessen novel more than the past one. Next I have Ever the Hunted by Erin Sumrill and this book follows a daughter of a bounty hunter and all of a sudden she's basically on her own. She has no access to her father's land and she befriends a couple people along the way and one of her very close friends, her father's apprentice, is in big trouble and of course it was her old love and also very close friend so she is gonna do something about it may have picked this up partially because of the cover i'm easily pleased by hard covers and end pages like this is just green but it makes me so happy and i'm really excited to read this book it seems a little bit robin hoodie to me and i really enjoy robin hood bbc robin hood anyone I love that show so much. Anyway, we're moving on. I'm late to meeting a couple of my friends, so I have to really speed through these last four books. I apologize in advance. Next, we have a gorgeous cover, and it is called The Walls Around Us by Nova Rensuma. I literally judge books by their covers. We all know this. This book follows two girls. One is in a juvenile detention center, and the other one lives outside of the juvenile detention center, and it seems like they're going to work together to try to break that girl out very intriguing also seems like could have the potential to be kind of a darker more serious novel and i like to read those during the summer next i have the third book in the royal series by aaron watt twisted palace this i've heard a lot about it's a, supposedly a really really great romance series i for some reason was like hey there's the third book for 50 cents let me pick it up even though i don't have the first book haven't even read the first or second book I have a problem, you know, impulse buying books. It happens a lot for me. Probably check out the first two at the library because I should probably slow down on buying books. Next, I got the second book, hardcover. Who? To the A Thousand Pieces of You series by Claudia Gray. I'm pretty sure these books are fantasy, time traveling, or at least realm traveling. I'm pretty sure it's realm traveling books. And of course there's a romance in them and again gorgeous covers I can't resist and the last book I have is the kingdom of little wounds by Susan Cockell Cockell this is another book that is just undeniably gorgeous look at the pages and look at the spine guys gals everyone You already know why I bought this book. This book is obviously about a kingdom and <laughs> it follows a seamstress and a nursemaid and I just think it sounds really good. This is my other regular fiction novel that I picked up. 
I got it for the pages, but also I will read it and get back to y'all. So that's it everyone. I bought 14 books for $19. So today is Sunday and I'm editing this and uploading it all in one day. I just really want to get back making these videos. It makes me so incredibly happy and especially reaching out to you guys. It's just all around a really great creativity place. And honestly, this is part of my mental health thing that I do for myself really branching out and doing creative things helps me so much and also it helps me connect with a lot of great people out there so i'll see you on thursday with my next video and i hope you all have an amazing and beautiful day bye